Hi there, Michael DiVanino. Want to provide a quick update on COVID-19. Thank you so much for all the feedback. It's really been great. Um, some of the feedback's been, I'd just rather see this on a flat map. And the challenge is, uh, show me a good flat map that, that really shows this. And what we've seen is that on flat maps, there are representations where you can see the dots, where there's the specific cases. Um, and then they show the size of the dot is the total number of cases. And what ends up happening is it's very difficult to compare the size of these dots and see the spreads. You can't see Italy, Iran, as being larger than the other provinces in China besides uh, Hubei. And then the other representation is the chloropleth, or just the high-level summary of the color of the country. And what we found there is that um, you know, it's an oversimplification. And that's why we're representing information in this spatial dimension, where you can see both the details and the high-level summary. So let me first increase the y-axis so we can see some more granularity of what's been going on. And we've seen some you know, pretty steady increases here in South Korea, as well as Iran and Italy. And moving forward here, let's look at the percentage increase now. So what's been going on between yesterday and today in terms of the percentage change? And we can see some pretty large increases here, especially throughout Europe. Um, we see actually the largest increase, a 400% increase in Saudi Arabia to five cases total. Lots of increases within Europe. Here in the US, we see four cases in New York City. Um, in a county in Washington, 18 confirmed cases, one death. And then actually down in South America, we can see there's four cases in Chile. So let's look at the overall trend lines and moving forward here to increase the y-axis one more time. Um, we can see that um, Italy and Iran are still on this exponential curve of increases. And there are, is a lot of controversy right now on is there enough testing really being done in the US? And I won't comment on that. But we can see that the, you know, there's 221 cases still relatively low compared to others, but that it's starting to slope upwards. And you know, we'll hopefully not follow that same exponential path, but we shall, we shall see. So stay safe, everyone. And here's a quick update. Thanks.